Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, I haven't done an ammo update video in a while. Uh, I enjoy doing these because I like buying ammo and I'm a cheapskate. So, I like to buy it, but I like to buy it for the cheapest price as possible, so I look around a lot. So, I had a busy weekend. I went to a few Walmarts and four local gun shops. And uh, I didn't go specifically to look for ammo. Um, Walmarts, I buy grocery, you know, groceries and stuff there. And sometimes they don't have one thing or another. And as far as the gun shops go, I was looking to see if I could find a good deal on something. A used handgun. I tend to like to buy nice condition used handguns. Nothing really available, but I did check them out, found some interesting things. So I went to one Walmart and I was kind of stunned by a couple of things. Um, they had... Lots and lots of this stuff. The federal bulk, 325 rounds, it's $21. They, I didn't count the boxes, but I would say there were at least 40, possibly 50 boxes. Uh, then they had probably one or two dozen of the Winchester Super X, which is uh, usually, I'll come back to this, $41 for 300 rounds, very pricey. Then they had some CCI mini mags. Um, those were $10.83, so a little more than we were paying a couple of years ago, but really not bad. I don't mind paying $10.83 for them because I really enjoy the mini mags. I like those a lot. And then they had uh, some CCI Standard. Now, if you remember, those used to go for about $250 or $260 a box. Uh, now they want $483, which is kind of crazy because if you buy uh, two boxes of those, you get 100 rounds and it costs you, uh, let's see... Um, nine sixty six. So you're paying almost nine point seven cents around. For one point one cents around, you can buy mini mags. Now, nothing wrong with standard CCI at all, but I'd rather get the mini mags for the extra one point one cents per round. Just me. Uh, besides that, they also had some CCI um, uh, Magnum uh, twenty two Magnum. Uh, those were, I believe, those were also ten eighty three. So they've gone up like maybe maybe a dollar. But still, not too bad, 20 cents around for uh, 22 Magnum. It's pretty close to uh, what we've been seeing in the last couple of years. Uh, and then uh, they also had, you know, some hunting rounds, like uh, like they had uh, 308, they had 350 Legend, 243, they had 12-gauge Target, even some 16-gauge, which kind of surprised me. Now, <clears throat> uh, I went to another Walmart. They had just about as much, and then... Uh, Yet another one that was in a slightly more urban area. And uh, they had, you know, basically they had those calibers, but just a lot less. Now, back to uh, back to the 22 Super X, though. Uh, and this really made me smile. The 22 Super X, which is 300 rounds, was $41 a box. Highway robbery. Wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. Guess what? They lowered the price to $30 a box. Now, you can find this stuff, and all the all the Walmarts I go to have this stuff. Like, if you really want 22 and you don't care about getting robbed, you can go buy 22 Super X, uh, Winchester Super X. It was $41 a box. Well, I guess people aren't desperate, or they're not as desperate as they thought they were, because guess what? It's not selling. They actually lowered the price to $30 a box. Now, you might not think that seems like a big deal. To me, it's a pretty huge deal, though, because... Um, you know, I'm I'm looking at it and thinking, okay, so before they used to just put stuff up on the shelves and it would sell. Now they're putting stuff on the shelves and people are like, yeah, you're crazy. I'm not paying that. So now they're lowering the prices. So I'm kind of curious to see if it just kind of sits on the shelves or if people are going to be a little more likely to buy it, which I don't know why you'd buy it now because, I mean, Super X is nothing special. It's bulk ammo, $30 for 300 rounds. This stuff is... Three twenty. Uh, it's twenty one dollars for three hundred and twenty five rounds. They're both forty grain, twenty two LR. Why would you pay extra money? So it, it kind of it, it's kind of a good thing. It's kind of showing that uh, that maybe you know the supply is you know actually shows a few things. We're not really sure, but uh, maybe the supply is increasing. Maybe the demand is decreasing, and people just aren't desperate. Now I'm not sure how much of that is increased supply and how much is reduced demand, but I can tell you that's an example of people not being desperate because, I mean, I think we've all seen people doing stupid things like paying like 60 or $70 or a 500 um, 
discount box that was going for like 20 something dollars previously so uh, I felt pretty good about that now <clears throat> at the gun shops uh, I didn't really get that good a price on stuff on anything other than 9 millimeter all I can tell you is that they were really well stocked uh, which I was surprised to see. I mean, it's like a night and day difference compared to even just a few months ago. You know, like maybe seven or eight months ago, there was not much on the shelves. And then there was an okay amount three months ago. Now it looks like it's pretty much fully stocked. And I also noticed that, and this is kind of a coincidence, all three of the shops had 9mm for eighteen ninety nine a box. I was kind of surprised by that. Like, not one for 20 and one for 17 It was all eighteen ninety nine a box. Which is still high. I'm still not buying any. Um, the 1899, uh, like I said, you figure that's 37. Let's see, what's that? 36, 38 cents a round. So, I mean, that's better. I look mean, because, like I've said in earlier videos, I was getting Remington uh, UMC for nine dollars a box. I don't think I'm ever going to see 19 cents a round for for uh, nine millimeter again. But I do think we're going to go below $15. If you're not fussy, of course. I think we'll we'll go below $15 a box for $50. So, I mean, maybe we can get it. As a matter of fact, if you go online um, to to some of, like, the meta search engines, I've actually seen, like, some, I think it was, like, the steel case stuff for, like, $0.29 cents a round at some places, which will take you right to about $15 a box. But uh, some of it was, I don't mind steel cased ammo, but... They were sellers that I've never heard of, and I'd just rather not do that. Um, like I said, no problem with steel, but I, I like to deal with more reputable places. Plus, we also don't know um, what they might be charging for shipping. So, I mean, if they're charging you, you know, a really cheap per round price, but then they're killing you on shipping and handling, not so good, really. So, <clears throat> like I said, things aren't great, but they are a heck of a lot better than they were before, so... Just wanted to kind of share some of those updates with you and, uh, you know, if you haven't been checking out some of the shops around you, kind of check them out and and uh, I think it's a good thing to do because I think it'll help us identify a price bottom. Um, I mean, I've been watching, we saw the 9 millimeters going 50 a box, then they were going to like the 40s, then they were in the 30s and I saw people start to get excited because they were like $28 for a box of 9 millimeter. And like I said, now I'm seeing eighteen ninety nine. So um, I'm a buyer at under fifteen. When I see it start going to like fourteen bucks or something, then I'll probably pick up like a box because I haven't bought a box of nine millimeter in probably two years. Because I'm just I just wasn't going to pay those ridiculous prices. I stocked up at nine dollars a box. Not paying not paying nineteen ain't gonna happen. Nope. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, the this ammunition you see in front of you, I bought recently because it was, you know, more expensive but fair. I used to get these for sixteen or seventeen a box. Now it's twenty one. I can deal with that. I used to get this for like nine bucks a pack. Now it's ten eighty three. But I think when I bought this a few months back, it might have been like a little cheaper actually. And this I think was like four dollars, which isn't fantastic, but it's not crazy, you know like $50 a box for 9 millimeter. But anyway, just uh, want to encourage you to check out your local shops. Uh, keep an eye on the supply. Keep an eye on what's going on and, and the prices. So, you know, you're kind of like tracking trends, you know. And especially, I'm sure a lot of stuff is different in, in different markets. I mean, if you're in the Northeast, things might be a bit different than if you're in the, in the Southwest or the Southeast or the Midwest. So, you know, just wanted to bring that up to you. Have a good one. Uh, if you like this video, I do appreciate thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It makes me happy. Talk to you later.